Today's video will not cover photography equipment, but something else. I've been into playing games lately, because I was basically traveling and shooting last year. So when I go from one place to another, I often have to take a plane or a car. The distance is still quite far. When I am not shooting, I feel bored in my free time, so I will play games on my mobile phone. I usually like to play some games that require high operability. What kind of action games are there? Fighting games or music games, if you rub the glass like this, it will be uncomfortable to play. Especially for games on game consoles. The controller has many buttons, joysticks, and shoulder buttons on the front, which are more comfortable to operate. But on mobile phones, if you rub the glass, it feels uncomfortable whether you use joysticks or buttons. So I want to find some better solutions to play games on the road, because I first considered that the games I usually play require the use of some shoulder buttons. First, I, I saw this kind of button on Taobao that can be clipped onto a mobile phone and can add shoulder button functions. It actually works through the principle of a touch screen. When you clip it onto the mobile phone, when you press this button, it actually, it will release a signal to the touch screen of the mobile phone at this position, pretending that your hand is pressed here. When my index finger is placed here naturally, I can use the up and down buttons to press the touch screen buttons at these two positions. Before I used Xiaomi 14 and it was okay, but now I have changed to OPPO's X7 Ultra, including Xiaomi's 14 Ultra and Vivo's XX100 Pro. They are all flagship imaging phones. One of their big problems is that the lens group of the rear camera is very large. The right button is okay, but the other side is too big because the lens group occupies the back. The area is relatively large. You see, when I clip the clip here, there is a big bulge on this side of the lens group, which will prevent me from clipping the button here. So I can only use it reluctantly like this, but the position of the left and right hands is different, so it is not very comfortable. Although this solution is relatively small in size, if you take it off and put it in a bag or pocket, it does not take up space, and the price is also very cheap. I bought this in a factory store for only more than 20 yuan or more than 30 yuan, but because I changed it, the solution to the problem of a lens assembly on a mobile phone is very uncomfortable to use, so I want to find some other solutions. For example, there are many push-pull handles on the market. When I was looking for a solution some time ago, I happened to see a new product from Xiaoji. What is the model? X2S. In fact, there are many pull-out handles on the market. But when I look at their parameters, I am not particularly satisfied with them. Either the quality of the buttons is not good, or the joystick may drift, or it needs a Bluetooth connection, etc. But when I look at Xiaoji's X2S, I find that the two joysticks are Walt joysticks, and its shoulder buttons are micro-switch buttons, and the trigger is a Walt trigger. At the same time, the front the action buttons and direction buttons on the surface are all touch switches. So from the parameters, I think its feel and quality should be good. And when I saw the price, it was only more than 100 ween. For an upmaster in the photography area, this price is almost nothing because everyone knows that photography is very expensive. Personally, for the aspects that I don't particularly care about, I tend to buy the cheapest one. I want to see how difficult the cheapest thing can be to use. But in fact, when I bought this X, I used it for a while after using 2S. I didn't expect it to be quite useful. If this thing is not useful, I won't talk about it, because after all, I am not a gamer or a living room. This looks like an ad, but it's not really an ad. I just think it's a bit surprising that this thing can be so well made at such a cheap price. If you think it's an ad, you can just turn it off and don't have to watch it anymore. I bought this from Jianyu because I found that Jianyu's channel is cheaper than the official one. It's only a few dozen yuan. Anyway, it's about 150.60 yuan. It feels like it's cheaper. Of course, it has such a big handle to hold the phone, so the volume is also relatively large. In this, it's just a button clip, so it's definitely much bigger, but since it has physical joystick buttons and triggers, it's a huge improvement in game control, so I can accept such a big difference in size. And the push-pull handle of Xiaoji also has a larger version, which is called G8. What a weird name. I think their product manager said that on purpose. The push-pull handle is designed like a separate Xbox handle, so it's definitely more comfortable, but it's also bigger. So for people like us who are often on the road, the portability is still relatively poor. The X2S is relatively flat overall. When I wear it outside, it doesn't take up much space. Relatively speaking, the portability is relatively good. It is especially suitable for us to carry with us when we go out for travel. And its connection method is relatively simple. You can see that there is a USB-C interface here. When you use it, just plug the phone in like this and then pull it open. Okay, just clip it like this. If there is an indicator light on this side, it means that the handle has been directly connected to the phone. Because it is a direct plug-in connection, it does not require Bluetooth connection like other handles. 
It may be difficult to connect it due to the environment on site. It is quite troublesome. If the signal is not good, it may not be able to connect. At the same time, since it does not need Bluetooth connection, it does not need power supply. There is no battery inside, which will make the weight of the handle itself lighter. When the mobile phone is added, the weight will not be too heavy when held in the hand. Anyway, I think this weight is acceptable and very suitable when I use it in daily life. But there is a disadvantage of direct plugging. I found that the USB-C is a bit soft. You can see that it is a bit tilted up now because I often plug and unplug it without controlling the angle, which has a negative impact on this cutout. It's a little bent, so I'm not sure when it will break. After all, you can't expect too much quality from such a cheap thing. I hope it won't break too soon. When using it, you should still pay attention to the posture and action of plugging and unplugging. I saw many people complaining online that the USB-C is on the left, but I think there doesn't seem to be much difference between putting it on the left or the right. And if it is on the left, after pulling it open, you can see that there is a groove at the bottom. The lens of a camera as big as a mobile phone can be stuck in this groove. But this plug cable ultra can be seen that it is still a little bit high and a little bit pushed up. Let me show you Xiaomi's 13U because everyone knows that Xiaomi's 13U has, there is a sloping protrusion. See if it can be inserted. You can see that it can still be used. It is relatively flat and can be inserted. This is the phone case with the camera kit. Then take a look at the camera module on the 14th side. It can just fit in. It is so big and it is okay. So now the mobile phones are already... You can see that when I took it off, the joystick cap fell off. I will talk about this later. So you can see that the design of mobile phones is getting bigger and bigger now. Fortunately, it is not bigger. You can see that when these mobile phones were inserted just now, they were already very limited. I've used an iPhone before. The 15 Pro Max can also fit in the case. If it's a bigger phone, it will be more difficult to plug in directly. Then you can directly use any game that supports the Android native handle. You can see that it has just shown the connection, which means that it can be used directly. You don't need to do any settings or operations. There is no special place to set up the handle in the Android system, so it is very simple to use. You can see that entering the game is just like using it. There is no difference between ordinary Bluetooth connected controllers because the layout and number of buttons are almost the same as those of standard game controllers. There are also direction buttons under the joystick and four action buttons. There are a total of four half key buttons in front, so basically all current games can be used normally. I won't say much about this. Of course, this handle can also support iPhone 15 due to the USB-C connection. But there are no games on iPhone 15, so I won't demonstrate it. I tried it before and it can be used. Of course, this handle also supports two other modes. For example, if you have a PlayStation at home, you can use the streaming mode. Some games do not support the handle. You can also use the G-Touch mode to use the handle to simulate the buttons on the screen. However, since I rarely use these two modes and it is very complicated to talk about them, I will not talk about them. You can go and watch other people's programs. In fact, the biggest reason why I think the XRS handle is particularly easy to use is the feel of the buttons. Because I usually play some games, many of which are action games, fighting games, and music games. It has a very good feel for the buttons. The requirements for range and response are relatively high. The biggest difference between the direction key and action button and other handles is the touch button. You can take a look at the design of this button. There is a metal spring under this button, and there is a silicone buffer under this spring. So when this button is pressed, it feels very tough, and when it rebounds when pressed, the response speed is also very fast. So just playing some fighting games like this direction button for example, this trigger and this pressure free shake left direction button, the difference is relatively small for example, down and up and down and diagonally down, especially when you are in a combo. Whether the button bounces back or not will affect the direction of your subsequent combos, so you only need to move your finger a little to control the release of the button. The feel of this trick is very good. You can hear the sound, including the vibration on your hand, and you can feel the release of the button so you can do combos very cleanly. I used to use the original Sony handle, and the direction button was really sticky. Anyway, it was very painful for me to use this handle to frustrate tricks because I am not particularly used to using it. I am more used to playing with the joystick and the direction keys. For me, the feel of the keys is very good. For example, when playing a game like Tag Master, the rebound and reaction of the keys are relatively high, especially for some combos. If your key reaction is relatively slow, it will be difficult to conquer some difficult songs. Anyway, the requirements for action operation in these games are still relatively high recently, so it is very important to have such a good and direct key operation, especially for this recent game. The boss one is really a bit perverted. There are some hidden places that you have to be very skilled in operation to get. 
so you don't have a physical button or joystick, you just poke the glass. If it's glass, I really can't imagine how to do these operations. So the quality of this button is so good that it can easily handle games with high operating requirements. Not to mention some games that are not particularly fast-paced. And like this hall joystick in class, there will be no drift problem. So no matter how intense your operation is, you still don't have to worry too much about not being able to use this joystick. My PS4 controller is a bit like drifting on the left. Of course, this controller also has a built-in combo function. You just need to use it very simply. By holding down a button, you can change a button to a long press combo. For some games like Core Warhead, which may require a high combo, this is very convenient to use. For example, in the game Prince of Persia, if the linear joystick is turned on in linear mode, repeated double clicks will occur and I will not be very accurate when operating. When you long press, you can change the joystick to micro touch. That is, you only need to press it lightly to execute the operation, so it will be more accurate when input and commands. Anyway, you don't need to enter any software settings. As long as you know some of its shortcut keys, you can directly change the key position while playing the game. You can also, this key position can be changed to be like Xbox or Switch, but it doesn't mean that this handle has no problems at all. For example, due to the size and space limitations, the joystick on the right is closer to the action buttons. You can see that my thumb often touches the joystick, which still has some influence in some more intense operations. And this joystick cap has already encountered this problem when we disassembled the phone just now. That is, when you rub it. The joystick cap will fall off if you rub it. I rubbed it off on the road when I was using it outside before. Fortunately, I found it back. Otherwise, it would be quite troublesome to match this joystick cap. I think the damping design of this joystick cap is not very good, including the layout. It is also the same as the layout of the Xbox handle. It is different from the layout of the PS handle. The joystick is up and down, so when I was playing Thailand's Got Talent just now, it was actually a bit awkward to move my hand up and down. Because I personally use PlayStation, so I am more accustomed to it. The layout of the DoorShark controller of the PlayStation, so if its joystick can be at the bottom, I think it would be the best. But for some Switch games, its joystick layout is one joystick on the top and one joystick on the bottom, just like Jawcon. When using it normally, I can only say that I can adapt to it. And although the USB-C can be directly plugged in, which is simpler and more direct, it also occupies the USB-C interface. While I was playing, you can see that the phone now has only 11% of the power left. What should I do if I want to charge it? There is a USB-C interface at the bottom. I can use a charger here. When you plug it in, it can be charged. The charging power cannot reach the original power of the mobile phone, even with a USB-C charger. This thing can only ensure that the battery will not be lost so quickly when you play for a long time. When I use it outside, if I play some games that consume more power, the battery will still be lost. This is a problem. Also, like I just played Thailand's Master, it is a music game. If you play it in the car or on the plane, because you want to listen to the music through the external speaker of the mobile phone, you can't hear it clearly, but the USB-C interface is if the USB-C port is blocked, you cannot connect wired headphones. You can only connect Bluetooth headphones, which have a relatively large delay, so it is difficult to play music games. For example, a friend in the studio may use a handle to live broadcast the game, but the USB-C interface is occupied, so the phone screen cannot be captured, and there is no way to live broadcast. Moreover, this handle is used with a mobile phone. For example, when you want to play games on a tablet, this handle is too narrow and it cannot be clamped. It can't clip onto the tablet. Although I've tried it before, if you force it into the USB-C port, you'll find that it can be recognized. But because it's not wide enough, you can't operate the buttons on the right. There is also a joystick, or you can connect a female port to a male port with a wire to connect to your tablet. It can also be used, but it also feels very strange. Of course, I know that some people on the internet have a special way, which is to pull it apart. There is a wire position here. You can move it like this to remove the wire position. Okay, you can see that there are two squares, and there are four springs in the middle. You can pull it apart and pull it very wide, right? But because my 12-inch tablet is too big, I don't know if my handle will be damaged after pulling it apart. So this handle, the handle cannot be used with a tablet to play games. Of course, even if you make some modifications in the middle and stretch the spring to clamp it on the tablet, it is still not practical to hold the tablet to play games in your hand because the tablet is so big and heavy, right? So if you want to play games on a tablet or on a computer, you still need a Bluetooth handle. After I bought the XRS, Xiaoji launched the Qiming Sing handle. This handle is also super cheap. I bought it on Xianren for only 69 yuan. It is also a dual H, the volume of the joystick is relatively large, so it is more comfortable to hold. Although it has a Bluetooth battery, it is also relatively, it won't feel heavy if you hold it for a long time. You can connect this controller via Bluetooth or wired, 
But after all, its price is relatively low, and all settings cannot be connected to the software of the small machine like XRS. It needs to be set through some shortcut keys, such as adjusting vibration or changing key positions. Everyone needs to remember this key combination. And because its cost is indeed here, its key feel is not that good. Especially the direction key feels fuzzy compared to XRS. I just can't play fighting games on this controller. The game buttons are also made of thin film, and the feel and rebound of the buttons are not particularly good. But how should I put it? After all, as such a cheap thing, you can't ask too much of it. It's okay as long as it can be played. Anyway, some desktop games don't actually require a very high feel. Today's program is to introduce to you some solutions I use to play games on the road. Personally, I think it's mainly because the price is too cheap, but it can solve some of my operational needs very well. At this price, it can achieve such a good feel. I think the price performance ratio is still it's quite high. Anyway, I just want to talk about my feelings. I hope this episode is helpful to everyone. See you in the next episode. Bye.